stand people breaking the law. I can't stand people doing that. Can't you follow the rules? I mean, come on. No, no, no. Uh-uh. Yes or no? And they finally got to put them in the US president's field. Damn. And so it wasn't just, of course I do. Remember when Chris and Ford was trying to do that? Yes, no, he's a great president. I know Chris has this, what we call the crazy guy. Crazy. <laughs> and he, he's a <laughs> you know, in that interview. No, 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 he's a great I think he's done a great job. It's like, uh, Watching on this, this amazing amount of time. Oh, I hate how people speak to me. Crazy. Different, uh, you know, hosts that uh, nobody wants Biden really. You know, this is an act of anybody who wants Biden now. This is an act of, of, of desperation. Yeah. You know, the vast majority of, of states he's going to are ones that voted for him. You know, in way upper double digit numbers. Yeah. Uh, and I started thinking not only about that, but more about Obama. You know, going out in Obama and how much influence Obama has. And then I started doing the age demographics. If you were 20 years old, if you were between 20 and 35, that Obama just kicked butt in in 2008. That's 14 years ago. So if you were 20 years old, wide-eyed and <laughs> wide-eyed and into the into the symbolism of. Uh, Obama and the the almost deity worship of Obama. You were 20 then, you're 34 now. You've gone through uh, probably uh, over the, you know, you know, 20, got out of college, you know, yeah, did your yeah. thing, and then Trump was president, the economy was great, right. and all of a sudden you get into your 30s and you're thinking, okay, I should be making some, you know, I should be making some decisions now, maybe it's time to buy a house, all these things, right. inflation hits, all of your dreams that you've been working at, boom, gone. I don't think Obama makes any difference. With Obama, and, and even if you want to look at it with, with Trump, nobody needed to tell the Democrats to become excited, right? They were excited for Obama yep. in a positive way based yep. on the imagery of right. him, right. and they were excited in a negative way against Trump because of Trump's imagery. None of it was based on, none of it was based on the substance of the actual issue right. that existed yep. out there, right. but nobody had to tell them to be either angry or optimistic based on, you know, how they absorb the imagery of what was going on. <coughs> the imagery because it wasn't about yeah. the substance of the ideas with either Obama or or Trump. Right. And, yeah. and so they did it. But now, if you look at it, you're 20 or 34. You know, you're, you're 34 now. If you were 30, to go to the upper end. If you were 35 then, uh, now you're almost 50 years of age. And I know, because I remember anybody who is, you know, in your 40s at that particular point, you are thinking about, when you get into your 40s, when you start thinking about your retirement and saying, what do I have in my 401k, what do I do, what do I do? When you get to 49, I remember when I got to 49, it was, okay, can I afford to catch it? Right. You know, with 401k, which means I put expert in, because that's a huge decision for anybody out there. I need to prepare for it. And all of a sudden, boom, the last couple of years you've seen, you know, last year you've seen your 401k tank. And you're in a completely different mindset by the time you get in to your late 40s and early 50s. You can't afford the other guys. They, they exactly, if you can't. <laughs> no, that's, that's, that's a great point. And, and so that's, you know, you look at it right now. So I see Obama out there and I'm like, nobody's paying attention. Obama? No, and and this and I saw the article. Obama takes this TikTok. Okay, all right, fine, whatever. But but here's the thing: they, you just touched on it, and it and and it, it, it parallels basically what what I'm saying. Because when that enthusiasm, that group of surrogate, rank and file surrogate on the streets everywhere, you know, changes of social media, everywhere. 
seek and promote. You're not seeing that from the rank and file right now. No. And, and when you when you look at Obama, for example, Obama is different from you know since Trump has been out. Trump has never stopped promoting himself and what he believes. Right. When Obama, his presidency was over, he was gone. Yeah, he's hanging out with George Bush. Yeah, yeah he's, he's he's partying, having a great time, building a building a you know or, or moving into a beautiful home uh, where he should be afraid of climate change. But of course, everybody figured out it was pure BS. You know, he didn't fear climate change at all. He just became somebody who, you know, went to the presidency and said, "Okay, because of the presidency now, I'm going to live a great life. I'm going to, I can make speeches, people will come. I can make tons of money. I can buy a rich house. I'm going to." And all of a sudden, the last couple of weeks of an election, where he has not been a part of promoting the liberal narrative, he hasn't been consistent. All of a sudden, he jumps back in and thinks that what happened 14 years ago, you know, can be re recreated now, and the same relationship that he had back then, based on his imagery, can really encourage people. I don't see that happening. Right. No, no. Um, you know, they, it's, uh, you don't, look, when you're trying to, uh, you know, to, to determine what your playbook is going to do, or, or, or be, I guess, going forward, uh, your yearbook is going to help. And, you know, that's, that's the approach. And because what, what is the big point right now the point is the current president? We've been saying for a long time, uh, right now, and, and has been, as we start to run, is a liability. It's a liability in the number of different One, one. Two, his brain may not be working properly. Thank you. 